Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I have another brand new arrival to show you. This is the all new 2023 Forest River Surveyor Legend Model 202 RBLE. This is one of their most popular, if not their most popular, couples trailer, and it's going to come in at 5,074 pounds as we see it here equipped today, and is going to be 25 feet 1 inch in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and we're going to talk about all of the new features and changes for the 2023 model year such as the new tire pressure monitor system that comes standard on these the all new theater seating setup that these have 60 by d queen bed asdale sidewalls a closed forced air heated underbelly all the great things that you know and love about the surveyors just in an updated form so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on to the inside. Okay guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new Surveyor Legend 202 RBLE. So as we start off, one of the new changes for uh, 2023 is going to be, these are now completely carpetless. Now they actually started that midway through the 2022 model year. But it is something that I really love. It is so easy to clean these, especially with the central vac that we'll take a look at here in just a moment. Now, in your slide out, you've got great window coverage. You're going to have pleated blackout shades. Now, they I wish those were a darker color than they are, but you could easily change that out if you did want to. Both of these slide in windows do open for airflow. The big picture window, however, does not. Now we're looking at this today with the optional theater seats. Now you can get this with a booth dinette, a trifold sleeper sofa, or the theater seats as we see here today. Now for 2023, when you get the trifold sofa or the theater seats, you get this cool lagoon table. And this is an actual lagoon table, um, which is really nice. You can um, twist this either way like so. You can move the whole thing which I have it locked down, but you can move this part and it's adjustable up and down, which is really nice. Um, I really do like this. It's a neat, neat feature. Now you're gonna have cup holders on each side and then you have the uh, collapsible armrest here in the center. You've also got some uh, little side tables right there too, which is very nice. I wish they would put some household or USB outlets in those. That's just a personal thing of mine. I think that would be really great for phone chargers and things of that sort. Over here on this wall, you're going to have your Furion thermostat for the Furion air conditioner, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. Three coat hooks, which is very nice. You've got this neat little painting area here. And then down here, you're going to have an electrical outlet and a propane leak detector. Now, this is a new floor color. It's also new cabinetry colors, new countertop colors. Um, it looks really, really sharp. Now, standard in the surveyor, they're using a 15,000 BTU Furion air conditioner, which is very nice. Now, the, some of the benefits of a Furion air conditioner is uh, this actually has a dehumidifier mode on it, which is pretty cool. Um, now, it is not ducted. It does look like it should be, but it is not in the 202, 203, or 240 uh, surveyors. You're also going to have a white accent light up here too above the slide out which is very nice. It, it It's not daylight, that's actually a light uh, up there. I get a lot of questions about that. <clears throat> now if we look down at the floor, you can see right here you've got your standard central vacuum system which is new for 2023 and that does come with the hoses now which is very nice. Now you do still have the uh, Oh, what's it called? The uh, I call it the electric dustpan function, where you sweep everything up there and have the little toe kick. But you also get the hoses this year, too. Now, this one, you have decent campsite window coverage. You've got the big window there, plus the one over here. And you're also going to have the window in the entry door, which is new for 2023 as well. So overall, you do have some decent campsite window coverage. The window in the entry door is going to be thin shade ready. So if you do want to add a shade there, you can do that. Now, surveyors are extra tall on the inside. They have an 82 and a half inch interior linear ceiling. So it's straight across, it's not bubble vaulted. 
um, where that's going to benefit uh, a lot of customers, I think, is in the shower, especially in this floor plan. Your head doesn't have to be in the bubble if you're, you know, 6'2 or taller like I am. You're also going to have a vent right up here. Now, you could easily make that a power vent fan or a max air vent fan if you did want to. Now, if we take a seat at the theater seat here, you can see that you're directly across from the TV. Now, that does have the ability to pivot around a little more. I just didn't think to do that uh, before I started this, and we'll just roll with it. But that is on a swing arm mount. And then if we move you over into this thing, you're, uh, this theater seat, the right-hand one, you can see you still have a decent shot at the TV. It just is a little more off to the right and a little, little more of an angle. Now up here is going to be your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system that does have HDMI and USB ports. So you can hook up a DVD player or an Xbox or something. Uh, and that controls the interior and exterior speakers. Now, one of the reasons we don't stock these with the dinette is because you've got this breakfast bar area with the two bar stools which is a great place to you know eat this is a couple's trailer you don't need a two spaces to eat you need a place to be able to sit down relax um now the table is very functional especially if you're you know gonna do some work on a laptop or something but you don't necessarily need two places to eat all the time um you'd rather have a place to or i think most people would rather have a place to sit down and relax and then a place to eat, you know, breakfast or lunch or dinner or whatever. Um, but you've got the two bar stools here. They're the perfect height for that bar area. I absolutely love that. And I'll show you that that does have a couple of household and USB plugs uh, where you can plug in laptops and things uh, when we get to the kitchen area. Last couple of things before we do dive into the storage you'll notice there are no heat vents in the floor in a surveyor uh, these are cabinet ducted heating as you can see right there and these are going to have a forced air enclosed and heated underbelly which is very nice so this is a true four season camper up here right inside the entry door you are going to have your awning and slide out controls as well as your lighting controls this is for your wine guard air 360 plus antenna Basically, just turn on the uh, Wi-Fi booster part of it. And then you've got your solar charge controller for your standard 80-watt solar panel that comes on every surveyor, which is very nice. It's not the be-all, end-all of solar, but it is. Uh, you can actually expand this up to 180 watts before you have to upgrade the charge controller because that's only a 10-amp uh, charge controller. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead now, and we will open up all this storage in the kitchen and i'll tell you this has got some really good storage space in it okay guys so i've got all the storage opened up in the kitchen starting up top here you're gonna have pocket screwed cabinetry you've got a really nice size cabinet up there i wish they would put a shelf up here but i understand why they don't that way you can put in some you know bigger sun tea jars or something like that really like the frosted or the kind of darkened glass uh, accent glass panels there you're going to have household and USB plugs right there, so that's a perfect spot for that bar or uh, for the kitchen, for that matter. If we drop down here, you can see that you do have two more sets of electrical outlets right there as well. Now, this is all pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. You've got a high-rise faucet, one-piece stainless steel sink. You have one sink top cover. Um, this is more of a dish drying rack, though. Over here, you've got your three burner cooktop with a glass cover. Um, one of the things that's cool about these Furion ones is when you turn this on, they turn red to basically tell you that, hey, this burner's on. You've also got the cutting board right there, dish, or uh, not dish, utensil holder, and then you've got a knife block there for all of your steak knives and things of that sort. You're gonna have a slim profile Hood range vent with the light and the fan. Microwave up top. You're going to have three full extension plywood box. Ball bearing, drawer got a drawers down here. Now this is a 17 inch oven too, by the way, while I'm closing those. 
and uh, so you can kind of get an idea of that right there. Again, three burner cooktop. And then underneath here, you've got a ton of extra storage. I almost would rather give up this shelf so I can put a trash can in there. Um, let me know what you think about that in the comments, though. Now, over here, you've got the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge by Furion. The nice thing about this, this will run off of your batteries. So you don't have to run propane going down the road. It's fully travel safe. And uh, this will also indirectly, since the solar panels charge the battery, um, this will run off grid for a pretty decent while, especially if you do two batteries and a second solar panel. Um, you can pretty much run this without having to worry about um, running out of battery power. Down below that, you've got your breakers and fuses. You've got a little bonus drawer here, and then a very nice sized pantry. This is awesome, and it's very deep too, so you can, you know, it's it it's not the illusion of cabinets. It does have some really good storage space there, which is something that a 25 foot couples trailer is not necessarily known for. So real quick, before we jump up to the bathroom, let's go ahead and take a look at the area and storage around the bed. So up front here in the master bedroom, you have a 60 by 80 true queen bed. So you can fit any queen size mattress up here. Now there is storage under the bed as well. And it's easy lift with the dual struts. So you've got great storage space down there as well. New for 2023, you're going to have two full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers on each side of the bed. You're also going to have household and USB outlets out here. Great hanging closet space. And then you have got a ton of extra storage up top here. Now, the cool thing is these are on struts supporting uh, cabinet struts. And instead of the, uh, oh, what do you want to call it? The um, cargo netting. They went with actual doors this year. You've got the window up front. Then you've got cup holders on each side of the bed over here which is great for a glass of water. But if we look over here and get in a little bit closer, you can see that you've got household outlets right there. And this little hole that you lift these up with, that is the perfect spot to be able to run uh, cords and stuff through, which is very nice. So real quick, let's go ahead and we will take a look at the master bathroom and then we'll close this slide up and see what it looks like in travel mode. All right, guys, so stepping into the bathroom of the 202 RBLE, you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet, plenty of room around there. That's also a really good spot for the toilet paper holder. You've got your light switch for your ceiling lights there. Open linen cabinets. I kind of wish these two had a door. Um, it, it's fine how it is. I'm just, that, that's something I was thinking. Or at least uh, cargo netting. You've also got towel hooks up there. A four inch fart fan right up there as well. You could always upgrade that to a Max Air or a Fantastic Fan if you wanted to. Medicine cabinet for all your medicines. You've also got your toothbrush holders there and it is a mirrored medicine cabinet. Press membrane thermal foil style countertops, decent sink. Also like that little backsplash they did there. You've got a GFI protected outlet. Tank monitoring panel is going to be right down there. And then you've got some storage here. This door does not want to stay open because of the toilet, but hey, at least they put a door there. And then you've got a 30 by 36 inch shower with the larger corner um, shelves that you can actually utilize. You've got the skylight up top. You can be upwards of 6'4 and still shower in here comfortably. And you've got the slow close shower curtain in there. As well, And the cool thing about that is that does squeegee itself off so that you uh, don't have to worry about mold and mildew and things. So real quick, that's going to wrap it up for the interior. Let's go ahead now, close this slide out up, and look at what you can and can't get to in travel mode. Okay guys, so with the slide out closed, as you can see here, if you're very careful, because these slide-up boards are kind of springy, so you do have to walk very lightly, you can 
get through here. You can get to your front bed and storage up there. You can get to all of the kitchen storage. So all the lower cabinets, all the upper cabinets. You can get to the refrigerator since it's right inside the door, not even close to where the slide out is. So that'll open. And you can get to the bathroom. So this is going to pass the travel function test. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 2023 Surveyor Legend Model 202 RBLE. So starting up front here, you have a, this is a fiberglass trailer. You've got your integrated automotive front windshield. Power tongue jack is standard. You've also got your two 20 pound propane tanks right up here with the easy access cover. Auto changeover regulator up there too. You've got a spot to put your seven way plug, keep it out of the dirt. Battery disconnect. This little guy right here is the repeater for your tire pressure monitoring system. You've also got uh, space for two group 24 series batteries. Diamond plate rock guard right up there to protect from stone chips. You're also going to have four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are gonna be manual. And then in here in your pass-through storage, you've got all aluminum cage construction with aluminum bed bases. This is gonna be the box for the griddle and then your jack foot. These have uh, magnetic holdbacks on all your baggage doors. Slam latch on this one. And then real quick, you're gonna have a three quarters jack bit adapter for your stabilizer jack so you can run them with your 18 or 24 volt cordless drill. Now on that, you don't wanna use your cordless impact because it can damage the jacks. You've also got a motion sensor light in there too. Now, if we look up or down, <laughs> look up underneath here, look down underneath here uh, is what we'll go with. I guess I'm just making myself look like an idiot, but oh well. You can see that you've got a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, which is gonna give you some great four season use. You've got a very nice sized power awning that is gonna have an LED light strip in there. And you also have backlit outside speakers. You've got two of those there and an amber porch light. Right here is gonna be where your outside kitchen is. So your griddle will actually mount right here, or you can just use this as prep space like so. You've also got a uh, dump sink that will go in here. And then you're gonna have your refrigerator out here for some bottled water, Cokes, beer, whatever. You've got space for an outside TV. Now there is no backer in here for an outside TV mount. You would have to put it on a picnic table or something, but you've got the cable and power to do that. Right here is gonna be a cold water spray port for the outside kitchen. This is a tandem axle unit, which is kind of unusual at just over 25 feet. And this uh, is also, again, going to have the TST tire pressure monitor system, which is very handy to have. All surveyors are gonna have the triple step Moride step above steps. Those have the easy adjust feet and will flip up inside of the door for travel. You can also see that you've got the Surveyor logo right there. Really neat. And then you've got your black glass entry door that is very popular, especially with our pods and these uh, Cherokee products that use them. Larger entry assist grab handle. And then up here, or uh, not up here, um, Surveyor does use the Asdale composite sidewalls. So that is a 100% recycled material made out of fiberglass and uh, plastic from like recycled water bottles. And that is impervious to water. It's mold proof and mildew proof, so you can't ever have any delamination. It also has twice the insulation value and is half the weight of the wood panel that they used to use called Luon. Now Surveyor uses it in their front wall, their rear wall, both sidewalls and the slide out box. So it's not just the sidewalls like a lot of other brands claim. This is, they use this everywhere, um, except for the roof and the floor um, because it's not designed to do that. You've got your square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky, spare tire, spare tire carrier, all LED tail and marker lights, backup camera prep, and 
surveyor is using a rear ladder. And speaking of that rear ladder, let's go ahead and climb that and take a look at the roof. So up here on the roof, you can see you've got your WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna. You've got your uh, Furion air conditioner. You've got some plumbing caps and skylights in your roof vent here. This is a PVC roof membrane too, which is very nice. It reflects a lot more UV rays and it keeps your, the attic between this roof decking that we're standing on under the rubber and the interior wall panel about 15 to 20 degrees cooler. You can also see you've got your solar panel up there. And again, that can be expanded to another 80 or 100 watt panel without having to uh, upgrade the charge controller or the wiring. So real quick, let's go ahead and hop down and finish the exterior tour. All right, so back on solid ground, coming on to the, your off camp site. You've got your 30 amp service, your city water and black tank flush connections, plus your cable and satellite hookup. So if you wanna hook up a tailgater for satellite TV or something like that, you can. You're also going to have your black and gray tank dumps right down here. Notice how they're tucked up against the frame. That is a very nice feature. Keeps you from ripping the thing off. You've also got your slide out here. It is prepped for Solera slide awning toppers. And that is a rack and pinion slide, by the way. And then, excuse me, up here you're going to have your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition and your potable water fill, plus your other side of your pass-through storage. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2023 Surveyor Legend 202 RBLE by Forest River RV. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you like pricing and availability, or if you have any questions, you can leave those down in the comment section down below. You can also Give us a call at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, guys, we thank you very much for watching. If you do me a huge favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and hit that subscribe and notification bell if you're new to the channel. That way you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Now remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. We hope to see, from, see you out here on the lot or hear from you soon. And have a wonderful rest of your day.